Let's see. Town budget proposal, event planning schedule. Oh, and don't forget the report on the new bridge construction. So many things to keep track of these days. Hey, uh, Isabel, I don't mean to interrupt you while you're working, but have you figured out a way getting me back to normal? I mean, I have gotten used to being a hedgehog, but I would like to be back to normal size. Yes, I know, Edge, and I appreciate you being so patient. It might have ticket nowhere a year I might have balance. Someone might be able to help you with your problem. You were going to say little problem, weren't you, Isabel? Uh-oh. Someone is coming in. Edge, quick, get back into my skirt. You don't have to tell me twice, Isabel. Tell me when they're gone. The last thing I want is for somebody else to see me like this. I don't want to be laughed at like I was with your brother when he saw me like this. Oh, hey there, Charlie. How can I help you today? Oh, hello, Isabel. I just came by to ask if you've seen the boss lately. He said something about creating and has has been hotel, but he never got around to it. I want to know what's taking him so long. Oh, no, Charlie, I haven't seen the boss lately. I think he might be dealing with a few personal issues right now, but I'll make sure he knows that you asked about the has been hotel parody and see when he will get started on that. Okay, Isabel, why do you keep looking at your skirt? Are you hiding something? What? No, don't be, don't be silly, Charlie. It's nothing in my skirt. Everything's fine. Anyway, looks like it's time for us to close up for the day. I'm sorry, Charlie, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Come back tomorrow. I'm sure the boss will be in at that moment and you can talk to him. I know it's about his hiding something from me, so how can I find this out? Okay, Edge. I just need to take a bath, so I can get ready for the Halloween party. We will find the person there. Sniff sniff. Wait a second. Edge, when was the last time you took a bath? I'm literally the size of an action figure, Isabel. What bathtub would be the right size for me? That will never do. I guess you're coming with me then. Just have a bath together. Oh, come on, Isabel. Let me have some dignity left. See, Edge. It's not that bad now, is it? That's easy for you to say, Isabel. You're not the one holding onto a rubber ducky for dear life. Edge, I know you never get clean if you stay on there, so I'm going to have to push you off of that rubber ducky. Seriously, Isabel, give me some warning next time. I literally did. Now let's get down to clean you up. Well, at least things can't get any worse than this. And I probably just jinxed myself by saying that. There we go. Or don't you look adorable in your costume, Edge? And you stay right there where I go get mine on. <sighs> I was right. It did get worse. I really need to learn to keep my big mouth shut. What are you smiling at, Dollface? Okay, Edge, I'm back. What do you think of my... Edge, what happened to you? I didn't like the way this doll was looking at me, so I tried pushing it away, and it ended up falling on top of me. Can you give me a hand here? Here you go, Edge. Are you okay? Nothing broken? I'm fine, Isabel. And might I say, that's a pretty good Princess Peace outfit you have on. Thank you, Edge, for the compliment. Now are you ready to get going to the party and finally get back to normal size? Uh, sure, Isabel, but I have a question. How are you going to carry me? I mean. Last time I checked, Princess Peach doesn't carry a purse, and I'm pretty sure her dress does not have a pocket on it. Oh, don't worry about that, Edge. I already come up with an idea. Oh, and what would that be? Duct taping me to your thigh? Oh, don't be silly, Edge. That would be uncomfortable for both of us. Let's you know duct tape does not breathe. We would just be cutting off the circulation to both my leg and to yours breathing. But trust me, you be having a viewer. I'm going to put you. Okay, I found Isabel's house. I'll wait for her outside. She comes out, I'll follow her and see exactly what she's up to. She coming out now. Is Isabel dressed like Princess Peach? Maybe there's a little truth to the costume party after all? I better keep telling her, just to make sure. Ha! Huh, I guess Isabel Way really was going to a costume party. I feel kind of foolish for not believing her, maybe I should join party, but the sign says costumes only, 
So where am I going to find a costume at this time? Ha, huh, how did I not notice that? Okay, stop right there. And who are you supposed to be? Oh, I'm an angel. An angel? With bat rings and a tail? I'm a fallen angel. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Please go in. Finally, I meant to get in. Now where could Isabel be? Is that Isabel? With an animatronic lizard? And it's a tiny hedgehog in her crown? What is going on here? Now, here we are, Eds. This should help you with your little problem you have. H.M., Chica Ant really doesn't like when the L word. What that matter, Isabel? I mean, after this, he ain't gonna be a little bit longer. Is this thing even safe to use, Chica? Oh, yeah, if you use it all the time to make us bigger. And you get some new mannequins when we need it. What? It's a lot cheaper to destroy a bunch of action figures from dwarves and just make them bigger. Plus, they're a lot more portable than the actual mannequin you get. Is this thing even safe to use on organic beings? Oh, get it, you're right, bitch. In fact, I actually use her to win the pumpkin growing contest. Grand prize Binet goes to Glenrock Chica for Heart Giant Pumpkin. Also, I think she might have broken the world record for the world's biggest pumpkin. Congratulations! Um, you are aware that you technically cheated, right? You all three are can lean your size of an action figure. I don't need to technically help you at all now, do I? Um, second floor, first place. Wow, that's impressive. Way to go, Chica! That's what I thought, Edge. Now, let me give you a wolf spurt already. Okay, what the heck is going on here? Charlie? What are you doing here? I asked the question first. Why is there a tiny hedgehog inside that tube? Well, it's a long story, but it kind of went like this. Okay, let me get this straight, Isabel. That tiny hedgehog that was inside that container was actually Edge. The actual edge that I was looking for but could not reach for an entire year. And the reason he is like that, it's because of a hollering prank you put on him last year. And he's been stuck like that ever since. Am I getting that correct? Yes, Charlie. That's the sum of it. And we've been living together because I felt it was my responsibility to keep him safe. Considering he's only in this mess because of me. And we came here because Chica says she can at least restore him to his normal height. That's for his appearance, that's another thing, which I will have to figure that out later. Well, here I am, ladies, but due to my current appearance, this is as big as I can get for the moment. Oh, geez, Edge, don't run around like that. Put some clothes on for Pete's sake. Oh, come on, Charlie, don't be like that. After all, it's not like I'm the only male character that doesn't wear clothes. Oh, yeah, Edge, name one. I'll name several characters, Sonic, Shadow, Silver... Knuckles, Tails, Mighty the Armadillo, SBO, Vector the Crocodile. Okay, okay, you made your point. I guess I'll just have to get used to it. But Edge, don't they usually wear shoes and gloves? And those clothes? Well, actually, Isabel, those are considered accessories. So I don't think they count. Anyway, I think it's time to wrap things up here, Isabel. Hey, you. Yeah, you. The ones watching this video. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. And if you would, drop a like in the description below. Not to mention, give me a comment of what you think of the video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And until the next one, this is Edge signing off and wishing you all a happy Halloween. Who the heck are you talking to, Edge?